Hey LEGO fans, it's John here from JB Bricks, and today I've got a review here of some stuff I got from a custom LEGO minifigure seller called Brickforge Minifigure Accessories. And they, I've seen some stuff about it, and it looks like they made, when I looked at the website, it looked like they made some pretty cool looking stuff. So I made an order, and I'm here to review it and show you. As you can see, one of the things here is free that I got. And so, let me just show you something. I really like the packaging. It's funny. I think it's a custom bubble wrap packaging because it's got the brick forge on it, the logo on it. And now, so, one of the main things I went for was this jungle combat pack. So let's take a look at that by itself. And then I'll go over the other accessories I got. So I haven't opened this because I wanted to show you the packaging for their, like, gear, like their packs, like this. And it re it's really cool. So, you open it here. Unlike usual, it's like stapled. Pull that, and I'm probably gonna like save that, maybe. And then when you get this, it is closed, so you kind of gotta rip it open here and get it out. There we go. So this includes a compound bow in camo, see there, a, I forget what this is called, it's, uh, I think, a, I forget what it's called, and then there's also combat vest, the little peg on the back for like accessories, because there's got a ton of like accessory pieces. Then a helmet, helmet with a detachable strap. I'm gonna look at something later. I'm gonna see if these straps and stuff are compatible with Lego. Probably not, though. But there's that. Next, there's this rubbery piece. I didn't think it'd be rubber that you put this knife into. So it's kind of like a holst knife holster kind of setup there. Next, you get a knight or gun pistol. Then you get a pack of arrows here. One of the, this is the bomb arrow. Then you just have two other types there. Then you've got another rubber piece that goes on the top of the helmet so it's kind of like lights a light like light huh hold on so can't <laughs> I'll show you that I can't take that off I can't get this uh kind of I don't know uh, I might go like this yeah something like that then you get a walkie-talkie and a machine gun. So that's what you get in this pack. They do have other packs. They have like a tan, a sand kind of pack, which is exactly the same. And then they've got like your gray, or gray style, which instead of coming with a machine gun and the pistol, it comes with a sh shotgun, I think. Or it was a different combination. But let me gear up myself with all this and show you what it looks like. So here's one variant of what you can do. There's like two different variants you can armor up with. So this is one of the variants. Here. So this is just one of the variants. 
you know, as you can see, the holster for the knife actually fits the pistol very nicely. I've got the machine gun and the pistol and the little, like, bomb finder or something on there. So now I'm going to show you the next variant. So here it is with, like, the bow set up. As you can see, with the walkie-talkie, I couldn't get the him to hold a bow. But here's the 360 of what this version looks like. Not much, I just changed out the hand accessories. There. So far, er, I haven't noticed much with, like, anything sticking off of, uh, anything sticking off of any parts. I haven't had anything bad like that happen, or seen, or anything break so far. So now, let me see if I can get them into a realistic looking bow pose. So here is what he kind of looks like in a bow pose. You can, I haven't been able to get the, there's a little like this, you can put like the arrows in, but I haven't been able to do that. So he's got the bomb arrow loaded up. You can get him into a pretty realistic looking pose, but you do have to take off his little chin strap, which you, I believe you can hold in a minifigure hand. So now let's look at the other items I got. So here's the other stuff I got in this order. As you can see, I got a sniper rifle, arrows in translate blue, a steel colored bow, steel color arrows, this is the freebie, a auto mag, I think is what it's called from Halo, and a mask. So I'm going to go over these one at a time. First we have the sniper rifle here. Looks decent. It's supposed to be silver, but it looks more like a grayish, a light gray. It's got the magazine, sniper, and, and big scope. And here's what it looks like with the minifigure holding it. It's more designed for like right-handed because of the extended scope there. You have to lean them way back to hold it, but if you put them down, and like a sniper pose on like, like some sandbags or something. Looks pretty good. Next up, I've got the bow. In, I already did showed you, but see if I can get the arrows on it this time. You kind of got to put them on a certain way. So... There's what it is. As you can see, I have two of the same arrow. He accidentally didn't give me a bomb arrow. Unless for some reason he was out. So I got two of these arrows. I'm not a big fan of the bomb one. You know, it would be cool to have a bomb arrow. It just looked kind of weird. So I'm kind of happy that he accidentally messed that up. And so then just an arrow pack. A trans dark blue arrow pack, which is complete there, and a minifigure can hold those as you saw. Next up, we have the auto mag, I believe is what it was called. And pretty cool, it's a small pistol. Let me show you what it looks like in the hands of a minifigure. I believe it's from Halo as well and I have got the Mega Bloks one and I thought it was always cool so I saw this and I decided to pick it up so there's what that looks like and finally we've got the mask here which is based on TransClear with a black coating on it it's kinda of got the visor and that is to go with the helmet here, I, that can go on there. It, didn't, it doesn't look the best in black. Let me show you it with it on. It looks pretty cool. One thing to note is that you kind of have to force off the helmet. It you kind of gotta like bend it back a little bit because 
it's a little bit stiff. That's kind of to be expected. And then, a little freebie gun. You can, like, pop one of the arrows in it, in one of these little peg holes there. And it looks like it's shooting something. And then it's got some studs and a handle. I think, it, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, but I think it's supposed to go with another thing that I didn't get, but still pretty cool. So now, something I have not tested yet. I have here a minifigure, a le actual Lego minifigure piece, helmet piece. I'm going to see right here, right now, if these, their Brick Forge attachments fit onto Lego. Here we go. Moment of truth. And not working right now. So, no, not really. They don't really work with minifigure stuff. They don't actually really work. It's it's not wide enough. It won't, like, go on there. Well, there it kind of is, but it's not. It's just, like, friction held. So, that is that. So there you go. That was my review of the custom parts from Brickforge minifig accessories. And I think he they make some pretty good stuff over there. It I haven't seen any problems. I've had a little bit like you can see on the vest here there's just a little bit of extra residue and the goggles and one of the arrows had a little bit, but otherwise, not much to complain about here. I'm very happy. The only downside is the shipping is a little expensive, but I think it's worth it to spend $14 because $10 minimum, but for $10, you can get some pretty good stuff. There are accessory packs, like this jungle one I got, are $5.99, so fairly good. I think it's a pretty good deal. I'll put a link to the store in the description box below if you'd like to purchase some of your own Brick Forge accessor minifigure accessories. I think it's really cool. Please subscribe. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this review, and thanks for watching.